Hi everyone, welcome to your exercise programme. So make sure you have a look at the checklist below this video and make sure you've got a drink nearby and also try and display your exertion scale or Borg somewhere near you and make sure your surroundings are safe for you to do the exercise. I'm going to start the timer and we can get going on our 15 minute warm up. Let's go. So we are going to march on the spot nice and gently at first, okay? So get those shoulders down away from ears and just make sure you've got a nice and upright posture. So gentle swinging of the arms, nice and relaxed in the upper body. So we're going to spend 15 minutes gradually increasing our heart rate over time. So we don't want to work too hard at first. If at any time I'm doing the exercises too fast for you, then please feel free to speed up a little bit or slow down, depending on where your fitness is at the moment. Just keep in mind that this is supposed to be a really gentle warming through. So once we've done a few marches, let's go into some toe taps. We're just focusing on our lower body for this first part of the warm up. So really gentle, really slow. Pointing and tapping your toe. So you're sort of mobilizing your ankle at the same time. Pointing and tapping. Anytime you want to, you can slow down. Make it a little bit slower. If you're comfortable at that pace, keep going at that pace. Okay, switching into a heel dig. So this is where we tap our heels on the floor in front of us. We've got a soft bend in our supporting leg, just tapping our heel, keeping repeating that. Again, Play with the pace, so if you want to go a bit faster and you feel this is not going to warm you up at all, speed up just a touch. Or if you're finding it difficult, then slow down. Also, feel free to use something for support. You could use a chair or you could use a sideboard, whatever's near you. Well done. Let's go into our side taps. Point and tap your toe a small distance away from the side of your body. Still focusing on just your lower body. This is just our first round of the warm up. We've got about three rounds to do on this. Couple more. Now into a back tap. On the back tap, we bend our supporting leg and we point and tap our toe behind. I'll show you from the side. Point and tap. Again, if you need a support and you find you're dif finding it difficult to balance, fingertips rest gently somewhere. Or you can just widen your stance so your foot goes a bit further out to the side and keep your feet about hip, whist, hip distance. Well done. Back into a march. Let's mobilize the upper body a little bit. So let's start with some forward shoulder rolls. Let's just do about five of those. Big rolls. Well done. And then we we'll change direction, roll the shoulders back. If this, if this feels uncomfortable, then feel free to leave it out and just march. Well done, relax, back into our march. So now we can start lifting our knees a little bit higher. Maybe swinging our arms a little bit more. Excellent. Let's go again. So back into those toe taps. Remembering you can stand near your sideboard if you need a bit of support or near a chair. That's fine as well. We're going to add on if you want to. You don't have to. We're going to push forward at chest height. Well done. So you're keeping those shoulders back. You're lifting your chest nice and proud. You're keeping this pace nice and gentle. Looks good. That's 
Okay, switch exercise, get the lower body going first. So you're gonna heel dig, tap in the heel, and then you're gonna bicep curl. So for this one, just tuck your elbows into the side of the body, and you're aiming to touch your shoulder. Still really slow, really steady. Nice. Keep him moving. You can always slow this down or speed it up. Okay, let's get the lower body going. So it's side taps again, point and tap your toe. If this is too difficult for you, make the movement smaller here. So you're really minimizing the effort going into it. If it's way too easy, then you're gonna take your foot further away from the midline of your body. Then, once you've got this, you're gonna add in the arms. So the arm comes up, about in line with the shoulders, and down again. Well done. And now into our back tap. So get the legs going first, feet hip width, toe tap behind. Super. If you want to, add in the arms. Now, don't worry about which arm, which leg. Just lift one arm and lower it. The most important part is that we keep our legs moving gently. If it's difficult, you're here with your hands on your hips. Just point and tap toe. Soft knee bend in the front leg. We're just looking for that slow rise in heart rate. Nothing sudden, everything increasing gradually. Here's your option with your arms. Let's go back into our march. Time to do some stretches. So in the warm up, we hold our stretches for around eight to 10 seconds. Firstly, you've got an option here. So you're gonna stretch out the chest. If you've had surgery recently, just lift the elbows and pull them out to the side gently. If that's easy, you're gonna take the hands, place them behind the back and push your chest forward. So side on here. Or this was your other option here. You just wanna feel gentle tension across the chest. Whole time we're keeping our feet moving. This is keeping the blood coming back up to the top of the body. And also keeping our heart rate slightly elevated. Release the hands, bring them in front. You can either interlock the fingers and open the elbows gently, or if you find it easier, cross over the hands and push the hands forward. So this is your upper back stretch. Stretching between your shoulder blades. Excellent, release the hands, back into that march. So the march is getting slightly stronger. But don't be afraid, if you're getting out of breath, to really slow it down, that's fine. So you're here if you're feeling good. You're here if you're finding it difficult and perhaps you're new to exercise. So we've got a few leg stretches to do now. We're gonna start with the calf stretch. So we're gonna take our feet about hip width. I'm gonna turn slightly side on so you can see better. So feet are hip width. We're gonna take a nice long step back with our left foot. Place the heel down on the floor first. Breathe in gently, then exhale and slowly bend into your front leg. Now you wanna keep bending your front leg until you feel a stretch in your back leg, just down here in your calf. What you don't want to do is have your knee coming way over your toes at the front there. So what you might need to do is take a bigger step back. If you need support, then come nearer your sideboard or your chair and just gently use your fingertips to support you. Okay, back foot slides in, we change sides. 
We take our right foot back, we place our heel down and we bend slowly into our front leg. If it's too much, you bring your back foot in, you just take less of a stretch, less of a bend in the knee. If it's not enough, your foot goes further away, you slide into that front leg a bit more. Your hips are forward, okay? It's really important you keep your hips forward. That'll help you get a good stretch. Slide your back foot in. Now back into that nice strong march, keeping our, our heart rate up and elevated in between our stretches. Good. Next stretch is for the backs of the thighs, that's your hamstrings. Again, feet go hip width. You're going to take a small step forward with your left foot. Now place both your hands on your right thigh. Just bend your right knee slowly and take your hips back. So your chest is slightly coming forward. Here's your stretch down the back of your straight leg. All right. From the other view, it looks like this. So I've got one leg bent and one leg straight. Okay. Good, slowly coming up, rolling shoulders, changing sides. So this time the right foot steps forward a small step. Hands rest on the left thigh. It's the left knee we're gonna bend and slide those hips back. If you need some support, again, just reach for something at the right height. It might be the back of a chair or the sideboard. Just gently rest your fingertips and slide your hips back. Notice how I'm keeping my head lifted throughout. That'll stop me getting dizzy when I come back up. And again, I'm feeling that stretch down the back of the straight leg. You might feel some tension around the other thigh, that's okay. Slowly, we're coming up, we're rolling our shoulders back into that march. So you might be here. That might be enough for you and that's fine. You might need to really start to increase your effort now. Just preparing our body for our main session for our conditioning part. Final stretch for the legs is the quad stretch, okay? So we've got two options here. Well, three actually. If you don't like the stretch, just go back into that march. If not, you can try it. So fingertips against something you can lean on. Reach around outside hand to either your trouser leg or you can take hold of your foot. It's up to you. So you're nice and upright. Shoulders are back, chest is lifted. If it's difficult, it shouldn't be painful. If it's painful, take hold here instead. Once you've done 10 seconds, release off, change legs. So again, leaning gently against something, reaching around, outside hand, outside foot, standing nice and upright. Good, release your foot. That's our stretches done. So we've just got time to do a little rewarm. So into a march. This time you can increase to a knee, a knee raise. So lifting your knee, tapping your hand onto your thigh. Good, lift and tap. If that's difficult, you're here. Just lifting your knee slightly higher than you would in your marching. Everything you can slow down or speed up. All right, or you can make bigger movements or smaller movements. Good, into toe taps. Option here, add in the arms. Without arms, looks like this. Trying to get that upper body warm now as well. Right, tapping the heels, bicep curling the arms. Notice I'm tucking my elbows into the side, keeping my posture nice and upright. Side taps, out to the side, side arm raise. Easy option is here. A lot smaller, a lot less effort.
Good. Back into a march. If you want to increase further, into a gentle jog. Good, so that's our timer gone off. So I'm just gonna pause it. Just keep marching on the spot. So at this point, I want you to try and find your heart rate or think about your exertion level. Okay, we should be nice and warm after a warm up. So let's go into our conditioning part now. So I'm gonna start my timer, I've got one minute on the timer and I'm gonna do a march or a jog for one minute. I'm gonna pump my arms if I feel good. So my breathing should really start to increase a bit more compared to the warm up. If that's difficult for you, don't be afraid to slow it down. Just lift the knees nice and high if you can and swing your arms still. If that's still difficult for you, then completely slow down and just focus on the legs. As long as you're moving in, these, in the minutes, it's really good work. You've got lots of options. So you can march, you can jog, or you can even walk slowly. We're trying to bring our heart rate up. So this is our cardiovascular exercise. Well done. First minute's nearly complete. On to our second exercise. Our feet are still moving on the spot. We're gonna pick up some food tins if we want. If we don't want to, we can do these exercises without. We're just gonna gently push our hands forward at chest height and pull back. We're just marching slowly on the spot, taking an active recovery. Pushing, pulling, well done. If your arms get tired, you can always try doing one arm and then the other arm and keep repeating. Or you can take the arms out altogether, put the weights down and just march on the spot for your recovery. It's entirely up to you. Well done. So side on, this is how it looks. We're just pushing forward, pulling back really gently. We're not in a rush. Super, well done. Okay, weights can go down now. So we're gonna do some squats. So we're gonna take our feet nice and wide. We're gonna do a little knee bend, bend the knee, sit back and then stand up. So we're inhaling down, exhaling up. Again, you can use a chair or you can use a surface just to have your hands on just to help with balance, make you feel a little bit more steady on your feet. Or you can take your feet a bit wider. And you can bring your hands forward for balance, good. Inhaling down, exhaling up. Inhaling down, exhaling up. Well done. Don't have to go too low. You can make it a half squat if you want. Half squat here and stand up fully. Half squat and up. Well done. Excellent. You can vary the depth of your squat depending on how your legs are feeling. Oh, that's the timer. Right, we're moving on. So we've got an active recovery again. We're marching on the spot, nice and steady. We're gonna bicep curl. Elbows are gonna tuck into the sides. We're gonna lift our hands or our tins up to our shoulders and then lower back down. On this one, it's really important our elbows are tucked into the side. Our breathing is nice and steady, but we can tell we're starting to breathe a little bit deeper. Good. Keep going. Again, you can always put your weights or your resistance down and just do this exercise with your hands up and down, elbows tucked in. Excellent. Next one, cardiovascular again. We're into our back lunge or a back tap. Feet nice and wide for your balance. It's a point and tap your toe behind you. 
So get that lower body working. We've done this one in the warm up, so we should know it. So we get going. If you want a more advanced option, you're adding in your arms. If you want something even harder, both arms are coming back and you're lunging further back and down. If this is really tough for you and you're finding it hard, don't be afraid to use the chair, place your fingertips on the chair and just point and tap your toe. As you become a bit more confident, you can take your foot further away from you. Excellent. Remember, once you get a bit more confident, just rest your fingertips on the chair. You can even start to add in one arm, switching each time. Okay, what have we got now? We've got an upright row for active recovery. So with or without the weights or tins. So elbows go up just above the shoulders and down again. Lifting up and down again. We shouldn't be rushing these. We should be able to do about 12, maybe 15 reps in the minute. Good. So notice how my elbows are just very slightly coming higher than my shoulders, but my hands always stay below my elbows. So I don't try and lift them above like that. Just keeping nice and steady movement. Well done. So again, this is our active recovery, should feel a lot easier than our cardiovascular ones that we're doing in between. Right, weights go down. We're going into what we call a side tap. Just pop that out of the way. So point and tap your toe out to the side, just like the warm up. But this time we're hopefully making a little bit more effort. We can start to lift our arms. If it's difficult to do both arms at the same time, just do one arm. If this is just too difficult for you, add in the chair. So just point and tap, point and tap, point and tap. So side on, make sure that you are just standing upright, just using it for a bit of support, a bit of confidence. Again, you can start adding in arms. But if you find your confidence is growing, finding it easier, push that chair out of the way and off you go. Trying to keep going for that full minute each time. So the next one's got two options to it. If you've had surgery within the last 12 weeks, so bypass surgery or valve surgery, make sure you just stand and do a mini pet deck. If you haven't, then you can go ahead and try this one. It's called a wall press up. So come one step away from the wall, breathe in and bend your elbows, exhale and push away. Breathe in towards the wall, exhale and press away. If it's difficult, just bring your feet closer in to the wall. If it's too easy, take your feet further away, more weight going into the wall, so you're having to push against more resistance. Good. Well done. It's all nice and steady. No rush. Again, just able to complete about 12 reps. And if it hurts, then don't be afraid to come and just march on the spot. Right, after the wall press, we've got our step up. So we're stepping on and off the step. If it's difficult, just point and tap your toe. So remember, you can use your bottom step of your stairs. So holding onto your banister lightly, lifting up and down. So you might need to pause the video there and find your step. So we're just going up and down. If you don't need your banister, you're just coming up and down your bottom step, pumping your arms. If you get tired at any point and you get a short of breath, then please feel free just to point and tap on the top of the step. Really good, well done. Good news is we've nearly done one whole round and that means we're halfway through the video. Okay, final exercise on this round is a gentle march with a side arm raise with or without your hand weight. So try them if you want. 
up and down. Nice and controlled. Well done. So 10 minutes of work is nearly complete. Just take a moment to think about how you're feeling on that exertion scale, okay? So you shouldn't be completely out of breath at 15. You shouldn't be finding it hard or heavy. But also, we don't want you to feel like your breathing hasn't changed at all. Well done. Just remembering, we're aiming for that 13, somewhat hard. So your breathing is deeper, you're feeling warmer, but you could talk in a full sentence. Really good work. Keep it going. Excellent, hand weights down if you want. Back into our first exercise, which was our march or jog. So I'm jogging lightly, but you can decrease it down into a march any time. Just keep it going, whatever pace you're at, as long as you can feel your heart rate has increased, your breathing rate's increased, then you're working and you're getting, out, getting something out of it. So keep it going. If you want more, please go on and jog a little bit. Anytime you want, feel free, have a little drink, have a little drink of water. Make sure you've got windows open, you've got some air coming in. really good everyone well done so on to our active recovery if you need it so we're marching on the spot pushing hands forward gently pulling back pushing hands forward pulling back well done it's really good you don't have to keep hold of these I keep reminding you you can always put them down and just use your own weight of your arms just to work through the upper body It's up to you. Pick, put them down, pick them up. One arm and then the other. I'm just gently moving through the feet. Well done. Steady pace. Good. Weights go down, we're into our squat, one of the tough ones. So, feet nice and wide, bottom goes back, good. Inhale, exhale and push. Adjust the feet if you need to, that's fine. Sit the weight back. Really good. Easier option, gentle support, just bend and stand. Bend and stand, good. Really trying to sit that weight back into those heels. Inhale, exhale, really good. Standing up fully when we come up. Good, just showing you a different view. Chest not coming too far forward. Eye gaze is in line, neck is in line. Excellent, coming into our next active recovery, our easier one. March it out. Bicep curl. Really nice and controlled. Just aiming for those 12 reps or more. If you're getting tired here, pop down the weights and completely slow the legs and just focus on getting back towards that somewhat hard exertion. If you are fine, then carry on with the upper body. Again, having that exertion scale nearby so you can look and just have a think about what sort of exertion you're at at the moment. Or if you've got a heart rate monitor, or you can take your own pulse, that's even better. 
Okay, we're moving on to our back tap or our back lunge. So point and tap your toe. Get your upper, your lower body going first. Then you can add in the arms. Too difficult? Take out the arms. Too easy? Add in some resistance and speed up a little bit. Well done. That's really good. Working through the shoulders as well as the legs. Super. Nice and controlled. Anytime you want, you go back to legs only. Really good. Into that march, that little recovery. Then upright row. Good. Smooth movements. Nice steady breath. Good. Still thinking about how you feel. You're three quarters of the way through now. If you've had enough at any point, you can skip this part and go straight to your cool down. Well done. How many more have we got? Oh, time for another one, I reckon. Okay, weights down if you want to, into our side taps now. So, standing nice and upright, toe tap out to the side, lift those arms up. If your shoulders don't like this one, feel free, bring the hands forward instead. So you're here doing this, you're here doing this, or you're getting tired, that's fine. Use the support and just do lower body. Or you're here at your chair. Here. Good. Moving through the feet, that's really important. The arms, if you can add them, that's great. Speeding up is an option as well. So we've got a wall press coming up, so you might need to pause the video for a sec so you can find your wall and have a think about whether this one's suitable for you. So come into my wall, just moving that so you can see, into our wall press. So breathe in towards the wall, exhale, press. Remember, if this one's not for you, you're going into that pec deck with March. Inhale, exhale. And you know what, if your upper body's really tired, just march on the spot. Excellent. Keep it going. I'm not rushing any of these, I'm just keeping it nice and steady. Starting to feel it in the upper body and the chest a little bit, that's okay. Excellent, okay, what are we on now? We're on our step ups. So we're going on, on, off, off, on, on, off, off. Need support, here's your banister. You just gently, fingertips on the banister, up and down. Good. Still too difficult, point and tap toe. So I'm still working on my balance doing this. I'm still having to lift my heel, my heel, my foot, sorry. Still having to lift my foot. So that's still gonna be raising my heart rate. But if it's not enough, yeah, go for it. Speed it up. Pump the arms. Good. 
Good, right, final exercise. We've got our march with our side raise. I'm just gonna, so what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be marching on the spot. I've just gotta sort the mic out. <laughs> marching on the spot, lifting the arms and lowering. Remember, if this one's no good for your shoulders and you feel it too much, bring them in front. Or you're here with your cans, lifting and lowering. Really good. Keep it going. Super. This is called your side raise, your lateral raise. And we're doing it with our march. Okay, that timer means we're on the cool down. So pop your weights down and just keep your feet moving. Okay, final part of the exercise. That's our cool down. Equally important to it as important to any of the other parts. So I'm gonna start our timer and we're just gonna start bringing that heart rate down. So I'm gonna start by marching. Okay, nice and steady, coming through the feet, just swinging the arms. Well done. I've got my chair there if I need it to help me with any of the stretches or I can also use my sideboard here. I'm not gonna need the weights now so we can pop them out of the way if they're in the way at all. Good. So coming through into some toe taps, point and tap your toe, just a gentle raise of the arm if you want. Much slower, okay? Much easier than what we've been doing before. Well done, keep that going. Notice our breathing rate and heart rate already coming down. Okay, tapping through the heels, bicep curling the arms gently if you want to. Well done. Good. Much slower than before, remember. Keep reminding yourself, we're on the slow down now. We're on the end part. Good. Some little side taps. Again, really slow, much more relaxed. Should be feeling pretty good now. Not too tired, hopefully. If you're really tired after the session and it really takes it out of you, then just consider doing a little bit less next time. Or if you feel great from it and you do it a few times through over the next week, then feel free to work a little bit harder. Just have a think about it after the session. Maybe note it down in your exercise diary. Okay, now a little back taps, just point and tap your toe, with or without support. Here's your with support, fingertips. With or without your arms, but with much slower, much less effort. Back into a march. Let's just do some more shoulder rolls, just like the warm up. Rolling those shoulders a few times. Good. And then change direction. Nice. Well done. Into our first stretch. Let's start with our calves. So feet hip width. It's your base of support. Nice long step back with our left foot. Place the heel down. Slowly now bend into that front leg. If you feel a bit unsteady, try taking your feet wider. If you're still unsteady, then use the chair for support. That will look like this. Good. Well done. Release, slide your foot in, change sides. So your right foot's going back, your heel's going down, and you're slowly bending into that front leg. Don't be afraid, if you want, come a bit closer to the chair. That's okay. However much support you need, take it, that's fine. We 
We hold these stretches for a little bit longer than we did in the warm up. They should feel a bit easier as well. Slide your back foot in, back into that march. Still swinging the arms, but we're slowing again. Back into some toe taps. This time, let's leave the arms. Point and tap the toe. Really important we keep our feet moving in the cool down. If we suddenly stop exercise, we can get a little bit dizzy, a little bit lightheaded. So always best to cool down properly for the full 10 minutes. Into our hamstring stretch. So it's a small step forward with your left foot. Hands either go on your right knee or you can keep them for support near something. And you bend your right knee, you slide your hips back, you bring your chest forward. So either hands are on your bent leg or you can have it somewhere else for support. What's important is you're getting a stretch down here, the back of the straight leg, that's your hamstrings. Don't drop your head down too low because you might get a little bit dizzy when you come back up. Taking your time slowly when you're ready, you're coming up, you're rolling your shoulders and you're changing sides. So you've got your right foot forwards, your hands this time resting on your left leg or again at your support, sit the weight back. Good. So if you're using a chair, you're doing exactly the same thing. You can have it beside you. Okay, so you're here. Whatever you feel comfortable doing, this is where you want to be stretching. A little bit longer. Taking your time, coming up, rolling your shoulders back into a little march. Well done. Let's go to some heel digs, tapping the heel. Nice. Well done. I can really feel my heart rate is definitely coming back down now. Hope yours is too. Okay, into our quad stretch. So again, use your chair or your support if you want to. Um, and certainly if you haven't done this stretch before. So you're reaching around with your outside hand for your outside foot. Now, if that's difficult, then straight away, if you realize it's difficult, take hold of your trouser leg instead. If that's still difficult or uncomfortable, just march through, okay? So you're either stretching or marching. This one's for your quad, front of your thigh. When you've done that one, turn around, change sides. So outside hand, outside foot, heel in towards your bottom. If you don't need support and you're confident, take away your hands. If you're still new to it, then keep your hand resting on a support. Very well done. Release the foot. Let's come back to our march. Couple more stretches to do now, both upper body stretches. So let's go into them now. So either elbows out to the side if you feel your sternum's uncomfortable. If that's not enough for you, take your hands gently behind your back and push your chest, squeezing those shoulder blades together. You wanna to feel mild tension across your chest. This shouldn't feel painful. If it's painful, then release off a little bit and just go to that arm opener instead. Well done, you're nearly there. Okay, release your hands, bring them in front, interlock the fingers, elbows go out, or cross over the arms and push the hands forward, up to you. Whichever comes more naturally for you. So you can see I'm pushing arms forward, or I'm interlocking fingers and opening elbows. So it's up to you. You can drop your head down a little bit if it feels good. Release the hands. Back into that march. Okay, some little side taps. Some little back taps. Now 
and back into that march. Okay, time now for you to definitely grab a little drink, keep those feet going just a little bit longer and have a think about where your exertion is now. So it should have come nearly all the way back down. Should be feeling like the effort on your body now is somewhere around here, perhaps very light, maybe an eight or a nine. Good. Excellent. Make sure you note down what heart rates you got in your diary today and how you felt, how you found it. And then next time you'll know where to start or what you need to do to increase or improve what you've done. Or you can always have a chat with us. Okay, take your feet a little bit wider than your hip stance and then gentle bend of the knees and breathe in and a slow exhale out. Same again, bending the knees, bringing the hands up to about shoulder height and exhale down. Give yourself a little clap. Well done, really good work. Hope you found it okay and keep going. Excellent. <laughs>